Hi everyone, welcome to Camp Keyframe. In this video I'm going to tell you something about uh, different ways of masking in After Effects. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to actually draw a mask. Uh, let's say I want to animate uh, this uh, middle line in from the right. I want it to reveal itself. What I can do is draw a mask around it. Uh, how to do this is to click it first, uh, go to the tr uh, rectangle tool, for example, or the pen tool, or whatever you want. I'll just go for the rectangle tool and just draw uh, a shape around it. You can, also, you can already see it only reveals itself within this mask. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, you also see the mask is, uh, show, shows up here in the, in the, in the layer properties. Uh, I can open this by uh, uh, tapping M on my keyboard. So I can close it and then open the mask settings. Uh, go to one second, click on the stopwatch to, to create a keyframe because I'm going to animate this mask. Uh, go to the start and then uh, I'll just click on my mask uh, anchor points uh, drag them to the right and yeah, there you have it that's a, a little animation just make it a bit more smooth to uh, easy ease this drag it a bit in and then what I also want to do is just um, the mask needs to be Wait, uh, like this, because the I wanted to animate at an angle. So let's just make it like this. So then the stripe uh, is di diagonally. So uh, that's one way of masking. Uh, the other one is if I want to uh, animate uh, these kind of speech text thingies into the screen. Uh, I want them just to, to animate from this uh, to here. But I only want them to be visible within this screen. Um, and if I draw a mask around it, the mask will just animate because I'm, I'm going to animate the position property. So if I draw, drew a mask around it, the mask will actually animate with the uh, object itself. It stays within the object. So that's not what we want. So first I'm going to animate these. I'm going to select them all, press P on my keyboard, uh, go to one second, click the uh, stopwatch to create a keyframe, go back to zero, and just drag them to the left while holding shift so it uh, stays horizontally uh, correct. Uh, all right, select all these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and then easy ease. Uh, just, and if I drag uh, over this point, I actually uh, collect all the, all the anchor points, uh, all the keyframes for the, the all layers. So drag them to the left, drag this one to here, here. So now my animation is okay. Let's just offset them a bit, so they don't all, don't all animate at once. Uh, yeah, all right, I like that. But now I only want them to be visible within the screen. So first I'm going to select all these texts, right click and then pre-compose them. Uh, screen items, rasterize it. Uh, all right, so now it's just one, one group. So now I, can ju I just need to uh, mask one group. Uh, then I don't need to individually mask all, mask all these different uh, the different layers. So what I'm going to do is go to the rectangle tool again. But uh, while not having selected the screen, if I select the screen items and I go to rectangle, I'm creating a mask. But if I uh, don't select it, and uh, I'll just create a shape layer. So I'll just drag where I want the, the things to be visible. It's right here. Okay, drag them above your uh, screen items, above the thing you want to be want to mask. Uh, go to track mat and click on alpha mat shape layer one, which means uh, the layer above your, uh, your your the layer. In this case, it's shape layer one. Let's just call this uh, screen mask. Uh, the layer above it will be will will serve as the mask. So if now I can uh, click on screen mask, and uh, you see here it, it only appears within the within the mask, and if I play it, it will just animate only within within that screen and I can I can move this mask around so it uh, changes uh, yeah but that's uh, basically uh, how you do it cool that's it see you in the next one bye bye